I don't, I'm struggling real bad to remember what the fuck the second angel oh, weapon bastards. is. Bastards. Do you remember? Hardly. Oh god, I have this thing equipped. I don't want it, but I guess I have to use it. Oh fuck. I find that really awkward. In terms of like switching between the two. Like because of where the buttons are? Yeah, man. Like holding R2 to knock him up. Yeah. Then hold this and then hit circle. Or no, not yeah, then fuck. I can't even I can't even think straight trying to describe it. So instead I'll just do that. Uh, another discussion to be had was um, lots of folks uh I think uh, having different opinions on um, what Ninja Theory's best game was. Yeah, uh, a lot of people say, say Senua. Some say Heavenly Sword, some say Hellblade. Well, the people say Heavenly Sword are fools. Um, I think, I think, yeah, <laughs> oh yeah, Senua's Sacrifice. Like, Hell, called Hellblade as an interesting, like, uh, 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 opposite of Heavenly Sword. Oh, yeah. Right? Because it's the opposite. Like, oh, it quite words. literally is the opposite. One. Yeah, Heavenly Sword, Hell Blade. Oh, wow. Yes. But Think not at it. all what they wanted to call it. But the problem oh, was. Oh, what did they want to call it? Send you a sacrifice. Oh, yeah. just send him a sacrifice? But the problem was, apparently, that they full on said, yeah, it's a cop out because uh, naming a video game after a putting a girl's name first. Is bad. Just don't do it for for marketing purposes. Yeah, just don't do it. And secondly, a, a, a vaguely foreign girl's name. Oh no, is super bad for big sales in America. So they had to go call it Hellblade and then keep sending a sacrifice afterwards. And that's just fucking like embarrassing and shitty. But that's the world we live in. You know, it's that world of of uh, Bioshock Infinite box covers. Yeah. So I should point out that I'm actually mistaken about something. That they have done something in this game to make it easier. So, say you have this. Like, you can just jump up, obviously. But with this boy in particular, if you charge a launcher, you go up anyway. So you don't need to let go or grapple up with the angel thing. Great. Look at that. Isn't that nice? Uh, anyway. I mean, you don't have to buy air hike in this game, I just realized. So what if they called this... Dante. <laughs> yeah. Wouldn't that have been nice, actually? It actually would have. And I would have been like, ah, it's a weird spin Go on, get Well, lost. to be perfectly honest, DMC Devil May Cry is a terrible name, no matter it, what. It, it's a very, because it's like, you're just, it's Devil May Cry, Devil May Cry, and that's just really, yeah, a, DMC Devil, for so, future reference, there's no easy thing to call that. It's the reboot titling problem that I remember back when I used to re religiously listen to the uh, John right. Bombcast. Here they would always morning. just rage over because it's like what do we put that in what the you, database what do you with? call that yeah what like dmc dmc no and then i mean eventually it came to be lowercase m yeah right which is god that is a terrible solution but it's what we got it's what we fucking got oh so these guys are actually the worst uh they represent the worst of the color-coded enemies later. Oh boy. Uh, to me, I, I guess yeah, of the color-coded, yes. Yeah. But uh, but uh, they're not the worst. There's that. There's uh, there's that. Um, oh no. That fucking that thing from Virgil's downfall. That's just. Oh man, I forget. The most annoying it's ever been. Oh no! Did I die? Oh no! <laughs> it breaks. Hey, you should spend some proud souls. Oh man! Go on, get lost. Well, what's that called? What are people calling that? The fucking loser tax or a scrub tax? Scrub tax. There it is. That's my favorite. All right, let's go for another round. Hopefully, Here's I do better money. this time. All proud souls were spent when you pressed start. Uh, yeah, there's there's that that motherfucker at, at the end of Virgil's downfall that 
Oof. Because it's an it's a it's an I don't know if you remember it, but it, it creates a bunch of like mid air. He got just he just bugged out. Hitboxes. I seen it. I forget Virgil's downfall. Okay. I, all I remember is that it's bad. He goes to hell. He fights the monsters. He gets them on his side. Is that um, it's really fucking bad. Um, the last fight is like against the thing that you that basically is the antithesis of his gameplay. Yeah. And Virgil's ability to move and all that stuff are just completely... It's like you can't do any of the things that the character specializes at. And, uh... I was very upset. Fun. I was very upset by it. I did not have a good That sounds time. really fun, Wooly. What are you talking about? Well, I mean, he is very weak, obviously, in this game. He is smarter, though. This game ends on a fucking wet fart because of the jo like the shit we're making fun of right now. Because it's set up for another game that never happens. Did you like feel in your heart right away that it would never happen? Because I sure did. No, because I I I like I felt it myself, <laughs> but then immediately after the public reception was, uh, or, or at least the press reception was as glowing as it was, yeah. I thought, oh no, this is Devil May Cry from now on. So, like, the press reception of this game was... Very it's, flowery. It's... It's one of those moments that showed this, like, wild disconnect. Yeah. Between... It's when... I would uh, use the term dissonance. I feel like it's the first time that, like, people started to go, like, fucking game journalists don't know what to but here, do, but, right? but, but here's the problem, though. We were both hard up in the Devil May Cry fandom, we like, sure areas of the internet, so we I were not being, getting unbiased opinions. I, I remember vividly being like, what does Lohai Kang think of this? <laughs> What's Saurian Dash up to? What, like, yeah, is, is he playing? Is he making combos? Like, for this did game? any of those guys play it? What do they think? Yeah, and 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 and, and like, the thing is that like, so we're hard up in the bias there, but at the same time, um, what what was giving me a more accurate depiction was at work, what people around the office were saying. Yeah, right. People that are otherwise casually like, oh yeah, Devil May Cry is a fun game. I played once and. Yeah, I know who Dante is. But Never got that into the series. But I played three, or I played one, or I played one, four. And, and like, yeah, and those folks were really excited about this game. And, uh... Huge excited. So there was a level of, like, public casual excitement around the office. Yeah. And then there was the press loving it. So at the end, there's no way... I mean, even though I was like, oh boy, there's no way I would be concluding Going that this down. is the end of this. Because it was so well received. From everyone that was not like hard up in the so the fandom that 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 what I saw that as well and the part that made me go huh I think this shit is doomed is that in how do I put this God just die people would argue about it and there was the thing with the press and all that shit but I got the strange feeling that no one was actually talking about the game at all. This strange... It's more about the controversy yeah. of the changes. This strange feeling that no one was actually playing it. Right. It's it's real, yeah. And and it did it did become that, but because uh, for a while it wasn't about like yeah it wasn't about talking about the game as much as it was like yelling at people that were uh, one way or the other and like making a counterpoint. Yeah. Like, it just became about, like, you're too hard up on the originals. Yeah, stop it. You're being, you're being an you're, asshole. You're being facetious with your claims. And people were. Oh, yeah. People were were super extreme with their, you know. Uh, but there was those funny videos coming out of, like, hey, look how easy it is to max the style meter. Yes. Where you can just do this. And this. And, the, and then a lot of it, again, was, Why like... Why am I having such a hard time the second time when... <laughs> and, then, and then also people uh, that were, like... You know, insulted by the, the interviews and stuff, were like uh, uh, taking it in that personal manner. So very personal. So, oh, so boy, yeah, yeah, I died again. Look at that. So the conversation became. It was toxic. It was fucking super toxic. Hard to follow. That that's that's for sure. Oh, I was in the air there. 
Oh! Oh, does that count? That totally counts. Fuck yeah! Why wouldn't it count? Oh, that's awesome. I love that. Now you know what to do. But yeah, uh... I, I understand that part of it. But I still felt like... So, so I got to the end of the game, and the game ends on a wet fart. Like, it's, it's fucking lame. And... I was like... I'm gonna wait to see how this sold. Like, I had that feeling. And sure enough, it sold well for itself, bad for a Devil May Cry game. And then I went, I never, I never went, this is what Devil May Cry is now. I went, oh, that thing I like is just dead now. Now, it would have been a wetter fart if you didn't have that fight. So, you know. You're right. It, like, at the very minimum, it's like, well, we're getting some Dante's Awakening in here. A little. Because imagine if it didn't. Yeah, but still. The, the execution of that. Execution of the final boss fight in this game, which we'll complain about probably for the entire rest of the LP. So get ready. Might be the biggest example I can think of of you don't understand why this works. And you're just trying to emulate it. And there's a little there's now a, it's bad. <laughs> there's a there's a little little bit of just talk in there, which uh, should be happening right now actually. Yeah, but at the same time, you know, um, you can chalk that up to Virgil not deliberately being like, I'm not going to talk. Yeah. Oh, fuck, it's so it's so bad. I'm going to wait. But then the no, the, but no, that doesn't make any sense. But then the shock because everyone's confused. <laughs> yeah, the shock. <laughs> everyone's everyone's yeah. confused about Wait, the argument what? that happened. Yeah, but uh, yeah, yeah, you know. Oh, this game is weird. I mean, like, and like, yeah, yeah. This and, game, and cat, and all of it. I'm glad this game came out because it serves as what must be the most bizarre time capsule and. Proof of idea concept ever. Uh, yes. I'm I'm gonna go a step further and say that I'm glad this came out because to We're me, gonna remove those upgrades, by the way. We're <laughs> gonna give them to something else. <laughs> to me, historically, the best the, Itsuno shines brightest when something has when a stain needs to be corrected. Oof. And at the end of DMC2, he went, I'm not fucking going out like this! <laughs> I'm not letting my name be the DMC2 guy. We're gonna make this shit ridiculous. So ridiculous, everyone. And then 3 came out. I don't know if you guys know this. And this but might- But Don't Make Cry 3 is a pretty good game. I'm not saying that like 5 would have been worse off without this game. But it would have been worse off without this game, in fact. Because if it ever even happened, it wouldn't have had the push. Yeah, there's... You know what I mean? It wouldn't have had the... Oh, we gotta get it right! There's an incredibly overt internal push of... We have to fucking knock this one out of the stadium, out of the city. It has to be the greatest that there ever was. To re-establish the series, kind and, of thing. And it's like, that. it's kind of insane to say that, but it's like, that's basically how Itsuno worked before. Yeah. So if that's what he needs, if it's that little extra push... Right. Him and his team work well under adversity and, like, spike Oppression. <laughs> yeah. Right? Success is the best revenge. What's going on there? There he is! Look at that! 100% completely totally old black the guy. old black man. Yeah! yeah. Yeah. Which I'm gonna bet he's gonna he looks a lot like uh, Dante's fixer from five the guy the old guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I bet was you see the cypher or something. He had a name Oh, no wait, he's not old black man. He's an old goblin Ah, you harpy Oh, no Again, just completely uninspired, the enemy design. It's a mannequin! 
And it's evil! Oh, they're here, too. Oh, I don't... And you know they're basically doing um, Faust and uh, Mephisto's oh, yeah. attack pattern, right? Oh yeah, I see it. It's like fly, 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 stab, glow stab. This... 100% Faust and Mephisto. This is a very annoying thing that starts to happen now. Where enemies are just no longer vulnerable to one of your primary attacks. They didn't actually fix this, come to think of it. They fixed the red and blue. Who's there? Well, then again, neither I were Faust and Mephisto. Mm. I can feel you. Who is it? I cut your head off. Put your stick down. Oh I'm yeah, that's what it Let's was. Give me a reason to. Right. Are you a prisoner of Mundus too? No. I'm from upstairs. Now, can you tell me how to get to that tower? Oh, that's why his head shape made me think he was tower? a goblin. Why? Is that and the fact that he looks like a fucking show. goblin. Will you help me? Kill it? Yes. I can help. If you help me first. No, seriously, is that guy a goblin? No, I, I think I remembered old black guy because he's voiced by old black guy. Oh, clearly. Oh, that was not in the mission. Oh, it was a D. CDB. Oh, I'm sad. Well, at least I get to upgrade something still. Let's see. Let's put that demon evade. To yeah, that's a good one. <sighs> that fucking art of him of Dante pointing the fingers with the angels around him. Yep. Relatable. <laughs> like, did, did you? Okay, did you ever watch Dumb May Cry anime? No. It's really bad. I've never it's, watched it. It's astonishingly awful. But. Family. There is one actually good thing about it, and it's the characterization of Dante as a guy who's just kind of depressed all the time. Okay. And all he does when he's not on a job is kind of lays around and eat pizza and uh, ice cream and just be depressed. His life sucks. And then a call comes in. Over here. And, and he's like, yeah! <laughs> okay. And like, okay. we're seeing some of that in the trailers for Five, where he's like, there's no power to the store. I don't really care. Yeah. Go, go, follow them, find their nest. Okay. Well, oh, oh. It's not. I did a great job there, everyone. Why would they leave me? I fought them. Ah, oh, whatever. You scared them. Yeah, I, that's it. Lead the way. You know what is actually somewhat annoying to me? So there's an element here where he says, lead the way, right? But there is no other way. There is literally no physical other way I could possibly go. Well, I, I, again, like... The entire game is, you know, snatching and grim gripping from one fight to another. The reasons why just happen to vary. And sometimes there's a thing behind you chasing you, and sometimes there's a thing in front of you that you're running towards, but, you know. I know, but it's just like. But they're. Aha, we're gonna follow them. It's a tailing mission, but it's not. It's not a tailing mission at all. There you are. Yeah, I mean, I hear that, but like, you know, I kind of like, again, the originals would, would do shit like this as well. And they'd have those moments of like, go, um, what the fuck was the one in, in the, uh, in, at the end of three when you're inside Leviathan and it's like, you know, destroy all the body, all the, the, oh, shit. I can't tell which side it's on. Oh, it's this side. Destroy these organ sacks. Yeah. And stuff like that. Well, um, of course I will. I hate this monster. I think you're fine on any side, to be honest. Thomas, chill. Flying bastards. Okay, so here it would have actually not been possible. There we go. 
Did the music just not? Yeah. Oh, there it is. There it is. It's decided to come back now. Okay. It, it, I don't know if it just mixed a bit lower or if it's just like the sounds are too high or what, but like. Yeah, yeah I hear what you're saying. It's just really, really not notable the whole time. Which, for such a big deal about Combi Christ, you, you'd think that... Yeah, apparently that was uh, a lot of people's reasons for, like, checking this out, because Combi Christ is apparently, they are a band. They are a real band. That exists. And people were fans of them before this yeah. and after that have no idea what this is. So, you know, that is a thing. But um, I don't feel like we really got a, a memorable taste of what Copy Christ is about. Because, yeah, the music is always really, really faded in the background. And also, in general, what I do here is not really... I kept my S by doing that. Not really grabbing me. Oh, it's not your style. It's not your jam. It's not my smoke and stick style. I see. So this was, in fact, not the way to go. God, that why... Okay, so the things you have to break with this... One hit. The right, angel things? Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. A combo and a half. Come on, guys. I am fairly unimpressed that a good half of the entire game's upgrades are uh, more damage on existing moves. I find that heavily disappointing. Because it made me feel like I had unlocked the entire moveset of the game at this point. Yeah. Because I have. I've unlocked every move. No, more moves is better than uh, verticality on few moves. Yeah. Horizontal progression. But yeah, if, if someone out there can can. Oh my God, it's cow! Oh my God, they're gonna get her. Oh, uh, she's she's she's. She's on gonna the, get got. Yeah. The folks out there can explain what Combi Christ is supposed to be. Industrial. Outside of this context, that'd be. It's supposed great. to be a good band that people like. Okay. I don't know anything about that band. Because, like I said, based on this game, there are no. Uh, they're no well, they're no subhuman. They're no, they're no subhuman. No. But, Boy, are they not! But they're, they're no, also no shooty here. HG. <laughs> Who the fuck is that? The fucking the devil's cry. Oh man, that's their name. Shooty HG. Ah, it's so stupid. He does all the demon lyrics in both songs. That's terrible. In, in like whenever there's a fucking, whenever you need a demon growler. Moderate traversal. Got it. Oh, come on. Man, all I like, at the end of the day, I'm just happy that fucking Nero made it out musically every time. Oh, yeah, every time. He just he gets the best Nero track. just gets the best of everything. Every time. It's hilarious. There we go. Aha. Whoop. Aha. Like, it feels like they took the song's bass and tuned it down. And, yeah. then, and then dropped it to, like, minus 13 decibels. And like, this is a brand new save file, so we didn't, like, go into the options and fuck that up. Like, you know the, you know the, you know how much we have to drop this, the game's audio when we make a, a, an LP video? Yeah. It feels like the A lot! It feels like the music has been dropped there. Cleared it with 30% left of the timer. <clears throat> Good for me. Like, I feel like when the time comes, uh, on so this, on this video, yeah, on this video, the music will be inaudible. It'll be almost inaudible. Yeah. And that's fine. Who cares? It's just some band that people like. Could you imagine if Devil Trigger came out with this game? It, it would be tough. It would be, it would be, we would be, conf I would be conflicted. But here's the thing. Ninja Tam and the and, and the, the folks over at Ninja Theory would never 
Agree. I forgot that his fucking username on shit was Ninja Tam. Ninja Tam. Oh, that's terrible. Ninja Tam would never agree to a song like Devil Trigger. The nest. Because it's not the kind of song he would write. Because <laughs> Dante is not is not that. Dante is not a gay cowboy. He's a meth head. He'd never listen to that. Now, what we should mention, for this game demon. came out oh, yeah. in the time That's period why. after Bayonetta, which is why some of these mechanics Got are it. also stolen you from Bayonetta. Be oh, look, there's his eyeball. We can call them genre upgrades. Yeah. I'm a big fan of genre upgrades. Just quality. And I, and I mean nothing against this game by saying it's Man, stole a mechanic or what have you. No, Bayonetta. quality of life, that should be here from now so on. So, people, people pointed out to me that this, that flash, yeah. was actually a little less overt, but it was in Bayonetta. It was in Bayo, okay. She had, uh... Her, her, um... Her before any Wicked Weave attack? Yeah. Her, her the, the clothes would kind of come off. Okay, and that was the timing moment. Awesome. Yeah. Quality of life upgrades that, that you get. Oh, right, I forgot this breaks. Yes. Quality of life upgrades you get that should stick around from now on. Unless you're building something entirely different, like Revengeance. Yeah. Then, then... Okay. Fine. Oh, no. These guys are fucking annoying to fight. 